Thanks for joining us here in Geneva for the AI for Good Global Summit 2018. My guest is Robert Opp. He is Director of Innovation and Change Management at the United Nations World Food Programme. Robert, thank you very much for joining us. Thanks for having me. It's great to be here. So, Robert, to start with, what can you tell us about AI and how helpful it could be to deliver the UN Sustainable Development Goals? Sure. Well, the Sustainable Development Goals, as you know, really represent some of humanity's greatest challenges in front of us. And at the World Food Programme, of course, we look at reducing hunger. It, the, the, the goal is to end hunger by 2030, and there's lots of other related goals. Um, and the fact is that our view is that, in general, innovations and technologies and new approaches that are with us now, uh, that weren't even just a couple years ago, can really help us get there. Um, artificial intelligence is one of the most powerful new platforms or new ideas, new approaches that are coming out right now. And so there are uh, many different ways that AI can really be leveraged for achieving the, this, the SDGs. Can you give us some concrete applications of AI in your uh, field of expertise, that's food? Because it's not just about food and food production itself, it's also satellite. Yes, yeah, so, well, we're actually looking at artificial intelligence for all sorts of things. Okay. Um, uh, for example, when we are uh, doing, for example, in, in post-emergency shock situations, so let's say there's a natural disaster of some kind, um, and there's destroyed infrastructure. Um, for a number of years now, we've been flying unmanned aerial vehicles, drones, um, over top of these places to take images of what's going on on the ground. But it takes a human analyst quite a lot of time to sit through all the images and count the number of houses destroyed or bridges destroyed and so on. So we're starting to use AI to uh, accelerate or augment that process, augment the human, human capacity. In other words, training um, using machine learning to identify objects that are de that are destroyed or whatever the situation is within those images and automatically read that. So it really is a time saver. Um, another application I would mention is that we're starting to look at how um, with the rise of increased uh, mobile penetration, so the number of cell phones and smartphones that are out there, um, and greater communication between us and the people we serve, we're starting to look at AI as a platform for augmenting the way that we're able to communicate with people. So we're experimenting with chatbots uh, when it comes to um, interacting with the people we serve about what are the situations they're facing, how many times have they eaten that day or that week, um, what are the prices in the markets that they're seeing for food, uh, their difficulties in access, and what do they need from us. So we see this as a big amplifier of that communication. How important is open innovation and, and platforms like the AI for Good Global Summit to meet other UN agencies and also people from other sectors like the private sector, government? How important is it to, to be here and talk to all these people? Well, I actually think this summit is incredibly important. And one of the reasons is that we attend many different gatherings and meetings related to AI. Um, or new technologies in general. But very few of them bring all the stakeholders together in one place. So it's extremely important that you have the governments themselves, you have the UN sector, you've got the private sector and civil society together in one place. Because we don't just have to look at the uh, operational applications. We need to look at the ethical dimensions as well. And we need to understand how these technologies are really being disseminated and used by a wider group of people and uh, for, for good purposes, in other words, for the SDGs. Um, if we don't have all those stakeholders around the table, we simply can't have that conversation um, in a meaningful way. And so I see too many meetings where they're, they're just one or two sectors represented, but not the others. And that's what, what makes this grouping really special. Robert, thank you very much. Thank you.